All right, good morning. Y'all know what time it is. It's time for <laughs> what we do. It's too early for this shit. I got a lot of things going on with this lighting, y'all. We got to get that together. Yes, we freaking do. Get my angles right and whatnot. Hey, hey, hey. How y'all doing? Get my friends on this thing. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, people? Let's talk about it. Good morning. Good morning, Algiers. You killed it last night. This child is funny, y'all. And she cute. That's always a plus. Good good looking. Black girls, female comics, rock, and all that shit. Hey, Kim. Welcome to the party. Good morning. We're getting a late start. We might need to change the time because we can never start on time. I'm always waiting for little Timmy to come to work. That nigga come when he feel like it. But it's okay. Because nobody gets, like Tony Woods said, nobody starts work when they first get there. <laughs> so, welcome to the party, people. We here, yes, and we're back at the old address because the other thing, you know, Facebook be doing too much. They, they be doing the most. Simple as that. Good morning, Shamello. That's a nice name. Shamello. Shamello. Hmm. Okay, Charmello. That's interesting. I want to know the history of that name, Charmello. Because where the fuck is Lord Timmy? He going to call me and ask me what's taking me so long getting in. And I'm saying, okay, I'm in, I'm here, but the Bama don't show up. Come on, Lord Timmy, stop playing. You play too much. <sighs> Lord Timmy tried to come for me this morning, y'all. Come on, I need to put on some makeup. I forgot what he said I look like, but again, he can't touch my self-esteem. Anybody less than five feet tall, you shouldn't give a fuck what they think, okay? He he might be five feet, but just barely. Little medium muscle ass self. Y'all don't tell him I was talking about him, no. <laughs> don't tell him. Good morning. So it's Throwback Thursday, and we do have some throwback shit to talk about, but mostly, you know, we're going to be talking about anything, everything, and absolutely nothing. That's what we're doing. Anyway, I, hey, Roshan, what's up, coffee? Welcome to the party, princess, cuzzo. We're getting close to your uh, comedy event, the church comedy event. Comedian A-Train is coming back to town mm -hmm. to do. I just talked to them a little while ago. I'm looking forward to that. That's very exciting. Uh, I went out to a comedy show last night. Tony Woods and uh, Algiers Diamond. Binga! Hey, Binga. Binga Bankali. My God. Michael, I can't even say the accent anymore. That's a blast from the past, y'all. Michael Bancali. Olu Binga. Hey, Binga. Uh, uh, Binga, what are you doing? <laughs> What's going on? Are you still selling houses down in the ATL? I got to remember to hit you up. There's people everywhere, y'all. Yes, girl, I'm coming. I'm coming. You know, my people. Of course I'm coming. I ain't gonna say no curse words the whole time to watch. Yes, Benga! I'm glad I'm making you laugh because that's what I do. I make people laugh. Well, most of the time. Anyway, that's, that's the mission. So, as you come into the room, like and share this feed. I will come by a house there. Find me a nice, fierce house in a nice... Uh, uh, urban, suburban area with all the rich people. I need rich people, okay? Because I hate poor people. And I don't want to be anywhere near them. I don't even want to accidentally run into a poor motherfucker in the grocery store. I just want to be around the money. Like Cardi B. Money! Ew. Hey, Donna! Where are you? Did you move away? So, while I'm waiting for little Timmy to finally show up, and I needed to be cheap, bingo. Matter of fact, why don't you just pay for it for me? 
Okay, maybe that went a little far, but just bring it. Okay, thanks for no profanity. Although, Princess, you got to admit, curse words do lend value. I don't know who decided that curse words were bad or which words are bad, but I think that, you know, we should start advocating to churches. They should relax that rule. If more pastors curse, more people will come to church, you know? And that's the motherfucking gospel. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just saying, uh, it's the world according to Nikki. That's what I thought. What's up, comedian Anthony Thomas, Eric? Welcome to the party. Welcome to the party. As you come in, like and share this feed. I'm just waiting for little Timmy to get to work. I don't know. Maybe he out there uh, shadow boxing junkies or something. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But let's see. All right. Let me call little Timmy. I always got to call this nigga. He that police. He did say that the dispatch has to call his radio to get him, you know, to get, get his attention, get him to answer his radio and shit. Got to call his cell phone, I mean. Then I had no police emergency when that nigga going to do it. Your ass is going down, okay? I'm just saying. I love little Timmy, and that's my friend and everything, but <clears throat> I'm, I don't feel safe with him. I'm just saying. That's all I'm saying. And matter of fact, I feel like I have to protect him. What the hell? Are you coming to work? Huh? Are you coming to work? Yeah, nigga. We'll bring your ass. Gotta talk to him like that. <laughs> he likes it. Don't be alarmed. He likes it. So what's going on, people? What's happening? I'm inviting people that are already here, so disregard if you get it. But while you're here, like and share this feed. That's all. Uh, at some point, little Timmy going to show up for work, I, I swear, because he usually does, even though it be a long time. He may be stuck in yeah cyber traffic. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's doing. What's up, TJ? Welcome to the party. Hey, Jerry. How are you? Hey, Gary. Like and share this feed, guys, and tell a friend. We're here each and every morning, Monday through Friday, around 10-ish. Today, okay, 11. Probably for the rest of the next week, we're going to be doing closer to 11 because uh, both Timmy and I will be in and out of tra traveling. So like and share this feed each and every morning, Monday through Friday, talking about anything and everything and absolutely nothing. Chitter chatter, what's up? Do you still go by Chitter Chatter? I think we should do another conference. We should do a comedy convention, just like a get-together. Let's hang out comedy and learn some things. Because I got to tell you, even though I don't like talk to my girlfriend, Hope Flood, no more, that goddamn Comics Rock convention changed my life. And if she wasn't such a fucking maniac, we would be able to do some things. But the bitch is crazy, so... Hopefully the convention, the whole mission of the convention don't die with that crazy bitch. Not that she's dead or nothing, but she's dead to me. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Good morning, Lord Timmy. What's up, Shorty? I had some issues going on. I had some issues going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had some issues. I had, to, I, had to, I had to take this stuff off real quick. You know what I mean? I'm good. What's up? Are you disguised as a person? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm undercover now. I'm undercover. I'm undercover. <laughs> Close your eyes and they really can't see. I know. Th that's it. That's all I do. <laughs> what? That's how, that's how I disguise myself as a police officer. This morning. Nothing, babe. What's up with you? Just... Not a lot. I'm in here. I'm in here. I'm working. You working? Yes, hope blood, TJ. With no neck, he's fattier than you, Timmy. <laughs> that nigga's like, hey, I'm slow with no neck. <laughs> that, that's the one. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> that's not right. I'm done. I love you, Hope. I'm she, sorry. She got a neck now. I think she's a long way. So, she got a neck now. But, with no conscience. And I eat the, and I, and Nick. She got a goddamn filter or conscience. Ain't that, ain't that ET did it? Oh! Et uh, had a neck, baby. No, not at first. He's like, it's he a first. Had it, but he came about. <laughs> Perhaps that had happened with Hope. 
Like a turtle well, in a thief alone. So we talk about anybody. I'm not talking about the girl. She ain't done nothing to me. My beef ain't your beef. That's that's how bitches get shot. That's how people get shot. The fuck that. We hate that. Okay. I ain't no we don't we hate that bitch. That's how I go in the goddamn hood. If I ain't no we hate her. That ain't true. No, my wife hate my my wife hate my side bitch. I don't hate her. My wife hate her. My wife hate. I don't mind. My side bitch fine with me. Your wife don't hate her neither, nigga. Just just so you know. <laughs> we can't let in, but she's happy for her. Please keep her. Yeah. What's going on this morning? Hey, Josh, welcome to the party. Oh, man. We're, we're so got, on, we got started a little late, so you can catch up on your work while we were. Um, there wasn't no work to do, just reporting from the hood as usual. This <laughs> nigga, this nigga, <laughs> nigga, this nigga, hey. <laughs> This dumb ass dude gonna hold me try to sell me a whole bag of left socks. Well, nigga, how you? Who has a whole bag of left socks, Jimmy? That's what he said. He put a, all of that L on. <laughs> Wait, so they must have been special Ed socks. Why they have L's on them? I don't know. That's what they for. It was for special kids. He said, I got a whole bag. I got a whole. He said, for some reason, all the special kids like rice socks. <laughs> so he I said. Started a watch party sharing this with my homeboy Timmy. That's right, the cop, Michael. Oh, yeah. You know, we're going to come yeah, to Atlanta. So. We're going to actually be coming through Atlanta soon. I'll be able to announce those dates as soon as we get those deals sewn up. But it's going to be huge. So, everybody in Detroit, Atlanta, Chicago, and New Jersey, look out in the coming months. And okay. We're going to be cruising through. Yes, yes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I just, I just got the news today. Thanks to my manager Nikki Moore, I got some, we got some big things that's about to pop off. I'm about to, uh, they doing a uh, revision of different strokes, and she got me playing, uh, she got me playing Arnold. No, he's so Popeye. About... <laughs> he's Popeye. Don't that nigga look like Popeye? You, you are compact to me here, but if you uh -huh. see this nigga in person, I swear to God, when it first hit me, I was like, that's it, Popeye. I tried to get a pass. We actually we, we pitched a, a show to one of the networks that we work with. And we we decided that we're gonna do like the ghetto version of Popeye. Popeye not the sailor man, Popeye the police man. <laughs> they won't That's hilarious. Getting bullied. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got yeah. Okay. I will yeah, not we all... pay you on Tuesday for a hamburger today. <laughs> <laughs> Lonnie, Lonnie Davis gonna be blip. What is it? Simpy, Blimpy. Wimpy. Yeah, Wimpy. 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 <laughs> the, the hot dog, the hamburger dude. We need oh. somebody to be Brutus. Who gonna be? Brutus? I want Big Mac. <laughs> mm. uh, you better, you better shoot that. You better shoot that shit quick. <laughs> he better get them. You better get all his scenes in now. He about to go to jail without the bail. We're gonna have to in jail. Out. Yeah, but. <laughs> Jesse, yeah, hey, but no, we'll get uh, what's his name, the big mean one that beat up the dude in the airport. Phase on love, Phase yep, on. that'd be perfect. He's Phase on love, Pluto. he beat the shit out of that little dude. That shit was hilarious. That yeah, was shit was that hilarious. Around just like Popeye, didn't he? Yeah, oh, he flipped like, that dude around. How, how Brutus beat up people on Popeye, he flipped that skinny motherfucker all over the place. If you haven't seen it, y'all go back. And Google Boy, love and the fight. Uh, ain't, ain't nothing funny when you see a fat dude fight and his shirt, his t-shirt become a fucking halter top. You know, he don't beat a motherfucker. His shirt. But you ever see, you ever see, a, you ever see a fat dude fight and by the time they finish that shirt, the head talking shit. Fuck with me again. But you got, they got a bra on. They start with a shirt again. <laughs> when they finish, they got a halter top on. Fuck with me again. Do it again. I swear to God. This is the. You got a bra on. I ain't fighting you. That's the. I know. <laughs> yup. Face on love was fake. He had a t-shirt on my body. Oh. That's pretty, y'all. That's my dude. That's an innovative young cat right there. Y'all gonna hear a lot from him. He's the bomb. Carolina culture. Google it. Follow Nala Ease too. Listen, like and share this feed. Tell your friends this is where we at every single day. Me and well, Lord, Timmy in here talking about anything. I got some news everything. for you. Huh? I got some news for you. I got some yeah. news for you. What? Well, the mayor in Baltimore City 
She had a lot of controversy about some things, some some books she wrote, and she didn't deliver the books right. and some embezzlement money. Well, today they actually raid in City Hall. They got 20 FBI agents in City Hall right now, and they have the IRS. They have the IRS with, with them as well. What? They raided her. They raided, and they raided one of her businesses today. You're going down, bitch. I told you. You're going down. Why you you? Because. No, that was. No, that ain't gonna, it's something to do with more than that. It's something to do with more than that. Yeah, so how do you raise city hall? Easy. Raise it like know. anything else. Yeah, they raided city, city hall this morning. Imagine raising city hall. What what actually goes down in a city hall? Can you walk us through that? I know as a police oh. officer, me asking you police questions is really throwing you off. But yeah, you are. Stop, stop doing. Stop asking about shit. I, stop asking about shit I did for twenty years. Shit. I know. You get all confused and shit. No, no. I don't remember. I, 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 I bitch, you asked me. He was. He was like, wait, what? Yeah, you, know, you act like I know. First of all, I hate when people ask me stupid ass questions about being a police. It's two thousand police officers. Your cousin started yesterday. I'm supposed to know this nigga. You know my cousin Mike. He worked the Western. You gotta know him. How long you been on? Three months? Bitch, I don't know him. Three months. Yeah, they trip me out like I'm supposed to know everybody. Three months. Three months. I don't know this nigga. But yeah, but that's what goes on. I don't know. They inside of City Hall with raid jackets on. Knocking councilmen upside the head. Get on the ground, bitch. <laughs> they knocking councilmen upside the head. Everybody on the get on the goddamn ground, councilman. What's up, big who? Welcome to the party. Yeah. Yeah. Laughing at the mayor's pain. That's terrible. Mayor well, don't Baltimore steal. Now, don't Baltimore. steal. Baltimore all fucked up. Listen, everybody in Baltimore steal. It's the rules. So I don't know why they acting all fucked up. Messing with that lady. She's very stylish. I feel like if your mayor is stylish, they should be able to commit some crime. You know? Some crime? Just a little bit. Just like I believe the president should be able to get a blowjob. So, it's yeah, the president. TJ, TJ pointed out that Mayor Pew had been in, in office very long. She's been in there a couple of years, though, TJ. Yeah, she's been How a couple long? of years. How many? Long, three, right? Shit. Long enough to commit the crimes she committed, shit. <laughs> you ain't got me in long to commit crimes. I think you know what I mean? I think it's a setup. You think it's a setup? I think it's a setup. She, she had 2,000 books that she supposed to deliver and only delivered two. <laughs> but she's going to jail. <laughs> The other okay. It's the postal service. It ain't her. <laughs> oh, it ain't her. It's the postal service. service. Well, okay. Hello, well, gang. We'll... Listen, y'all. Thanks for joining the party, Big Who. I'm so happy to see you here. Like to share this feed and tell the friend we hear each and every day. And we ain't talking about shit. We talking about mm -hmm. anything and everything and absolutely nothing because Timmy don't know right. that much. I don't know that anyway, much. Anyway, so you heard uh, Russell Wilson is trying to urge Sierra, his wife. Right. To let um, the baby daddy off child support. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. Because you know he's there. To, I mean, he's actually helping taking care of the child. You know, I guess he's saying, you know, you don't need his money. Don't be petty like yeah. that. You know. What I mean? Russell Wilson, I think, is is like the highest, one of the highest paid football players. Yeah, he just got a big. He has got a he huge said, contract. Money. He says, you don't yeah. need his money. Let that nigga keep his coins. Uh, that's, that's, that's a stand-up guy. That is. That is. He better that's than me, cause I fu fuck that. Boss. If you if I look, if I come in your life and you got kids, bitch, you got kids. We ain't got kids. You got kids. You, are you got kids. I'm not taking care of nobody. I'm not taking care of none of you. Yeah, you can't can't ask me for shit. Stop saying that to your wife, nigga, cause them your kids. Okay. Oh yeah, I said it the other day. She's like, you know, he needs some tennis up. shoes. He act like the kids ain't his and shit. Y'all broke up and got back together. Now they her kids. So can you tell your kids stop talking to me? Why your kids keep calling me? Nigga, them your kids. You her kids ain't for one of her kids ain't for tennis shoes the other day. My wife kids ain't for tennis shoes the other day. I say, like, look, look. Just because they could they just because they call me daddy don't mean I'm your daddy. He act like the separation stopped him from being the real daddy. Use the pappy. Use the baby pappy. <laughs> when the courts hey look, when the courts say, look, man, look, when you split, that's it. That's my that's my goal. Oh, when you God. split, that's it. Thank you. Huh? You Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The best rappers and athletes 
of the ones who fathers wasn't in their lives. I'm just trying to make sure my kids got a chance in life. So if I leave my kids and leave my wife, you know, do you know how successful my kids will be? All the rappers ain't got no fathers. Think about it. So I'm just trying to leave my kids so they can be successful in life. That's what I'm saying. You are dumb, Timmy. Listen, James. No, I'm not. James said what he say? that he's talking about the mayor because I was asking you to walk right. me through. And you don't know because you just was on the police for about 25 minutes. Okay? Oh, I, I he police. said. I that's FBI. This is what he said. He said they have to switch. Oh, James is FBI? <laughs> they have to do what? You said James is FBI? No, I said that they, that's the FBI that's totally different. Go ahead. Oh, he said they have to swear out a search and seizure warrant with the federal judge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then it has to have enough information as to the type of crime committed. The raid is the icing on the cake because the federal government has enough evidence. Prior exactly. To the raid to Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about federal government. If you, if the federal government raids your house or something, they already have the evidence. They just basically try to get more. They already, have, it's done already. You are you done already. The mayor took off in 2016. I knew it was a mix, right? Well, you know what? The problem with her was they asked her to resign and she and she said no. You know, well, they said, like, okay. Still come after her. Why should she give up her check? Huh? Uh-uh. Mark up. Why should she give up her check? She don't need to hey, hey, well, guess up. You about to give up your freedom now. So what's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck a check. <laughs> your commissary going to be packed. You making $200,000 a year in jail. Or you going to have the best commissary in jail. <laughs> bitch, you, you going to get the real the real oodles and noodles, bitch. You going to get the shrimp packs. You are terrible. You are Shit. Terrible. Why, am I, why am I the worst? I'm supposed to support the man. I'm supposed to support a thief? No, I'm, I'm sorry. No, uh, uh no, no, I don't support these. I buy from them. I buy from these, but I don't. I buy from these, but I don't support them. I support. Uh, hello, oh. officer. You said they raiding her home and her office. Of course they are, cause they they gonna find. But they got nothing in the office. What they gonna find in the office? The minute they told her, if she's smart, the minute they told her that she was under suspicion, she cleaned that shit up. She should. Oh yeah. That's what I would Look, that mother, look, that paper I, shredder was I, I, on. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I condone criminal activity, but I am not completely anti-crime. Let me tell you something. That paper shredder was on fucking, uh, oh, that shit was on overtime. Zzz, 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 zzz. She probably about <laughs> four of those bitches. Zzz. That paper no, shredder was on fire. Oh, man, that's crazy, though. I, I mean, I don't know. I just think it's much easier just not to let me tell you something. That. Look, she probably so scared this bitch to shredded her birth certificate. Like it means something. Um, she done shredded her birth certificate and her passport. <laughs> we know who you are. We know you. <laughs> they ain't gonna never find me if I shred my birth certificate. <laughs> they shred her birth certificate. She's gonna give you a call and say, come out, Timmy, we caught. <laughs> no. I, I do a benefit show for her. Huh? I do a benefit show for her. I do a benefit show for. Her. I would. You will because gonna cost about fifty. Cost about fifty G's. It's how gonna cost. You, Why you got your face up to the camera? Nobody wanna see your ugly ass eyeball. How she the fuck is that? Huh? Oh. Nobody wanna see your goddamn big ass retina. Timmy. Yeah. You really are affecting my self esteem. Oh, I ain't bothering you. I know you with very all, well. Yourself is it. First no, of all, right here, I'm I, I know. Like, ah, <laughs> hey, who made that track shoot? Adidas little cousin, Ada? Who? You guys got two stripes, bitch. You got two stripes. 80. Yeah, who got two? God <laughs> ah, damn, where the other stripe at? No, everybody do me a favor. Got we got a GoFundMe page yoga. for another stripe. For... <laughs> they sold the stripe to somebody else. Said... We got a GoFundMe page for another stripe on your sweatsuit. Yeah, they, they sold the <laughs> GoFundMe. <laughs> They couldn't, they couldn't uh, sell me the stripe, so they had to uh -huh. sell the stripe to somebody else. Take one of the stripes off. They know we go live round 10 every day. Well, that's your stomach. <laughs> your stomach calling. Your ass be calling you. Like, I be what? going there and I just be talking to somebody, and then all of a sudden I ask dollars. And it's like, oh, Hey, Nikki. I seen how, Nikki, I know how big your ass is. 
You had your phone in your hand and ass down me the other day. I know how big your ass is. You had a phone in your hand. How you ass down me and your phone was in your hand? That's how big your ass is. Your, your ass reached around and tapped my number. <laughs> I can't stand you, Lord. You ass down me from the phone. Y'all hate you, Lord. What's up, Are you still? Cat? You still on your diet? I thought you was on the diet, wasn't you? I was no, trying to get your props. I just lost weight. I'm fucking fierce. I ain't saying you lose weight. I ain't people to lose weight. That was the day a call some bitch. You did it because you had diabetes. Don't act like you did the shit because you all proud of no yourself. Diabetes. God damn. No. I, like, I lost weight. I'm like, yeah, because you was going to die with your high blood pressure ass. Ain't no goddamn. Ain't nobody sitting there praising you because you, you lost weight for yourself. Right. Right. You want everybody to pray? Stop, stop. I ain't praising you because you got your health together. That's your health. You should. You why? Should be happy about my health. I, why am I happy about your health? Because you? I was happy when you lost weight. I, I did it for me. I ain't doing it for none of y'all. I but did it because my doctor. I appreciated it. I lost I, weight. Because I, I, I appreciate and support your little music muscles all the time. Let me tell you something. I lost weight because I wanted my penis to look bigger, and it didn't work. I'm going back to fat. So, y'all know. <laughs> watch the real uh housewives of atlanta so the Some... atl girls are back in business okay but miss cynthia Bam took uh she took this alleged she took a huge pay cut because she was mike you know be losing her piece i don't know if it's she because she's already married mike hill and maybe move away but she took 50 percent less to keep her piece really now she can pay anything near what Nikki's getting. Nikki's getting about five million a season. If she's right. getting anything near that, I would I would take a pay cut too to keep my goddamn piece. Uh, I don't think she's getting no $5 million. She's not getting $5 million. She's not getting $5 million. She's probably getting a couple. She's getting $4 million. And see, these girls, the smart ones, like Candy, is, is my only time. She's like, she don't want to go nowhere. Candy Burris used this platform to reignite her career, to re right. solidify her brand. And she launched her shit. The old lady gang, they got the two restaurants now in Atlanta, and they mm -hmm. stay packed. And mm -hmm. she got her record company. She got her studio. She's the boss. I, I fucked her. Kudos to Kim. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. Huh? That's how you're supposed to do it. That's how you're supposed to do it. You probably added into something. Because you know. You know, got the bills. She's a model. You know, she got a baby with Leon, the actor, and all of that stuff. What are you doing too bad? She's going to pick her up a new man and shit. Got married and divorced. What's up, John Thompson? Welcome to the party. Oh, you said, dude, you said she married to Leon. Like, that's a plus. This no, thing ain't... Got married. She I mean, it's a baby, baby bomb. This Leon. thing ain't... This Mama, thing ain't had a role since... He, he ain't had a role since the Temptations. What are you talking about? They ain't no come up. <laughs> he ain't had a role since the Temptations. That wasn't him. No. What was it? Uh, it was, um... Did Leon play the Temptations? Yeah, it was. Oh, he played Eddie Kennedy. Yeah. Okay, yes. He sure did, and he played in the five that was it. Name another movie. Huh? Hold on. Name another movie. I'll wait. <laughs> okay, so uh, Monroe said Cynthia, Cynthia was getting six hundred twenty-five thousand a week. Uh, so now she's gonna get three twelve fifty. That's still a bad. It's still a bad. That ain't bad. Still launch her brain. If she if she worked outside of it, she can get endorsements. She can get appearances, she can get all that shit. I got $30 right. for breakfast that I used to get. You know what? Things you, man, look, things you should never say when you man... Look, things you should never say when you manage Timmy Hall. That's why I'm on here with her. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we doing this shit live on Facebook and not a real goddamn TV or radio station. That's why. Her aspirations are so fucking low. $30. <laughs> Okay, I, I got, I got a little bit more. But I'm telling you, the reality shows, that's what we need. Yeah. That's we do need a reality show. We need a reality yep. show. So if anybody out there knows somebody, forward them this shit. Because me and Lord Timmy, we got some shit. We do. Oh, yeah, we got we got some shit going on right now. Y'all understand? We got some shit going on. We, so, we can't... Uh, okay, but let's keep with the real housewife. And because, you know, her husband runs her businesses. Um, uh -huh. What's his name? I can't remember his name. Anyway, so he got suspended 
for bad mouthing last season. I don't know. He said really? he's trash. Women let me be off easy. Yada yada yada. Todd, Lord Todd. Lord Jimmy, Lord Todd. It's something about Jimmy, Lord Jimmy, Lord Todd. Lord Todd was talking shit and got laid off. Oh, wow. He got laid off from reality show? So, what the fuck you do that? What does that mean? Did he check out? So when the cameras come, don't don't point it at that motherfucker. <laughs> shoot, the, shoot the camera and come around. All right, all right, nigga, duck. <laughs> he got every time the camera come around, he got duck. All right, nigga, you know you suspended, duck. Put nigga. some gloves on his hand. I'm gonna hand him the baby. Put some gloves he said on his hands. We don't want no pops of him on this thing. Hey, nigga, he sit there in the chair with a screen mask. He just sitting there with a fucking screen. He sit there with a screen with a Jason mask like yeah, he can't say shit just sitting there. Don't say nothing, nigga, you suspended. <laughs> <laughs> so check this out though, man. If you wanna know some shit that's gonna make you drop? Black China enrolled in Harvard University. Fix it at you. Oh yeah. Nigga. Oh nigga. What you gonna do? How she get in? It don't matter to me. All I know is I was a professor at China, I need to speak to you after class. <laughs> Oh, we be having some after school conferences all day. Every day. You oh my god. You tutoring that bitch again? Oh my god, you don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. I come out like this. Whew, you earn that A. You you get that A. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's awesome. I I can't wait for the turnout. I guess she's thinking Kim Kardashian. Can become a lawyer, she can get a, become a Harvard grad. Oh my God! Good job, child. I don't like no. You know what? She's still gonna be calling herself Black China. I don't know. I don't know if I want an educated stripper though. Like at what point in life do you change your stripper name? You don't. You don't. That's Timmy, TJ. TJ said, "Where's my mic?" That's Timmy. Timmy out there with them junkies and they sucking them up. He said, "Who has a vacuum cleaner going?" That's oh, Timmy's that. A, that's construction. He on the construction site. Yeah, hey, I'm on the strike site. I'm watching Jokey That's steal equipment. Junkie. He keep the vacuum on to suck they shit up. That's what he got. I seen a Jokey the other day steal a bulldozer. I just watched. I said, Look at that Jokey go. Anyway, but yeah, but um, yeah, you're right. She Black China. Yeah, oh, I didn't know her mother was a uh, ex, ex porn star. Didn't know that. Tokyo Tony. I don't yeah. Know what you call that porn, but yeah, her mother. Her mother lives here. Oh really? He said. Look, TJ said, have you seen Black China without makeup? Hell no. <laughs> have you seen Tokyo Tony without makeup? You want to talk about some scared shit. No, I seen, I seen uh, Black China without makeup. Bitch like a China cabinet. She ugly as shit. She looks horrible. I seen her without makeup. I was like, look at this. <laughs> she ugly as shit. Let me tell you something. I don't care what she look like. She got paper. With or without makeup, that bitch is fake. Okay? Congratulations. Yeah, but her, mo her mother was on Instagram. Her mother was on, go to Tokyo Tony. Her mother was on Instagram twerking. Good God of mercy. Tokyo huh? is a She don't have, she, she don't care. She has zero filter. She does do a lot of advocacy, though. She she feeds the homeless. She take them things. She crazy, but she, you know, I think she's crazy like a fox. I love people that pop their ass on Instagram and then do charity work. That shit is a lot. Right. Yeah, that's charity for some motherfuckers. I can't believe you that shit. some of them niggas in the strip club? Yeah, I know. I, you know what? Let me ask you a question, Nikki. Every time you go to strip clubs, always one girl trying to pay her way through school. Did these bitches ever finish? I never seen one girl with a degree after stripping. I, I'm like, I went to strip club one day. It was nine years later, the same girl. Now, so you ever get a degree? I'm still working on it. Bitch, it's nine years later. Let me tell you something. If you ask Black China and Cardi B, the shit paid. Okay, it's paid off. Oh yeah, I seen Cardi B. And, uh, what's the other child? Um, uh, Kanye and Wiz. What's her name? Oh, uh, um, damn, the girl with the short hair. Blonde hair. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Amber yeah, she just had number, She Amber pregnant Rose. now. She, she, yeah, she pregnant now. She's pregnant. I know. I don't know this new guy, though. She oh. like her. She like her a grungy motherfucker. We talked about somebody yesterday like a dirty, a good dirty kid. She like her a grungy. She keeps her a little grungy looking nigga. But somebody that ain't got somebody that don't have no, 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 no name. Yeah, 
No, no, no. Wiz had a name. He he had a name. No, not him. I'm saying. But yeah. I'm saying like she she now she dating them cats that look like Mangy and shit. Oh. I don't even know his name, but she engaged to this cat. Man, I can't wait. I don't, know. I don't want to get famous. I, I want I want I want a rich woman to just take my. I want I don't even want anything. I want a rich woman to just take my ass. Well, oh. I, I don't think you have anything to worry about, little Timmy. Oh no, We're I know I ain't got nothing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I knew I, I, knew I wasn't gonna be. I knew I wasn't gonna be famous when I knew my manager had a two stripes sweat jacket. I said, you know what? She got a Nike t-shirt on and a two-stripe sweat jacket. We don't need... I, I'm done. Oh, Monroe, <laughs> yes. Uh, Amber's get engaged to the new baby daddy. Okay, so, good. Listen, good. I love Amber Rose, though. I think Amber Rose, I, I like her because she ain't scared to talk about fucking. You know, everybody does it. But don't nobody want to talk about it. It's something to be said about a good hoe, man. Let me tell you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Knows? Ain't nothing like a good hoe. Get your money, bitch. I know. Secure the bag. Yep. A good hoe make you do shit like. No, he died. He from. No, he's not even Pittsburgh. Let me tell you something. Ain't nothing like a good hoe make you just get up and get dressed and leave and realize it's your house. Oh, ain't nothing like that shit. You like, baby, I call you when I get home. Nigga, this is your house. I thought I did that one time. I got dressed and walked. I got dressed and just drove off. I like, I'm gonna call you when I get home. Timmy, this is your house. This is my house. Let me back in. Ain't nothing like a go. Locks, Ain't nothing like a good hole. Bitch, how you do that? I know. Magic locks. I know, boy. A, a ghetto bitch that's good make you get a joint account. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, so I Kelly. So we got here, huh? He lost the second. He lost. Lost against the first person who accused him. I don't know which one it was, but one of them, whoever, whoever was the first one to board the suit. So what does it mean now that he lost? I wonder what, what's he won? Does he win money? Probably money. It's probably monetary because now he'd be in jail by now. If he lost he, the sexual he, I suit. I don't understand why he's not in jail. What the fuck is it? They lock a nigga up on, on the corner for selling the fucking ashtray and keep him in jail for six years. But motherfuckers like uh, R. Kelly and Donald Trump and people like that commit crimes. And it take you forever to lock these motherfuckers up. What is the problem? Money. Money. Okay, TJ, fact check. We was going okay. off the coda at Pittsburgh. My fault. Okay. Okay. Raised in Pittsburgh. But he don't never claim North Dakota. He never say North Dakota in the house. Yeah, I don't North even think that. I, I, how the fuck you even do it in? If you trying to. Fuck <laughs> if you in a <the> gang, right? <laughs> nigga, I'm from motherfucking North Dakota, nigga. Did I end? <laughs> Yeah. You get a good one, to do it. Yeah. Do the yeah. end, nigga. Do the end. It's the end. <laughs> All right, yeah, sure. let me stop. Let me Italian stop. Pro, female, fellow female comment. Natalia, where are you from? Where are you? We got all, uh, we got the, the globe represented this morning, Lord Timmy. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong you with like. that. Y'all, welcome to the party. I know. You got the globe on, you got the globe on your finger. <laughs> you got the whole right world Reed, on Reed, your Reed, hand. Reed, you got the whole world. So we can be able to bring, Reed to ask me if I could bring her in. So we're working on some technology yeah. so that we can bring people in and have a three-person com conversation. So by next week, perhaps, yeah. we'll have that rolled out. I'm yeah. You, you know what I mean? Make sure, it's a f you know, make sure it's a female. I love a threesome. Okay. I like them threesomes. Huh? That's so stupid. I don't want no damn threesome. I don't need. I, don't, I do not need two girls complaining. You can't be performing a onesome, nigga. You can't. Let me tell you something. You, you think I want beating your meat? How you gonna do what you gonna do? You think I want two girls on Twitter complaining about me? Shit, you out your damn mind. I don't want no damn threesome at forty-seven years old. You know what? I'm all, of, all. You know what? All it can be a threesome. I can. I can hold a camera and watch, but I'm not doing nothing. I'm forty-seven. <laughs> If you if you over forty and still having a threesome, kill yourself. It's too much fucking work. Oh, oh overtime ass. I ain't doing that shit, huh? I can't stand you, girl. I'm forty seven. I don't care what y'all women think no more about me. I could care less. I you don't can't care. Kid. Kid I don't suicide. care, huh? Ryan. Hey, girl. Y'all like to share this thing. We can get out of here in a minute, but I want yep. to talk about one more thing. You know, so we talk about the ATL. You know, yep. I love the girls. 
and Nene getting paid, so you know Nene is a stand-up comedian now too, right? Lack thereof. <laughs> she ain't Go funny worth shit. Yeah, she ain't if funny. Can, if she say she a comedian, okay? So Nene shows up drunk. You know she on that tour, the Lazy Night Out tour. Rumor has it. What's up, Sam Conyers? Welcome to the party. Rumor has it that Nene showed up drunk mm -hmm. at the MGM National Harbor Gym. Now, I wasn't there, although I should have been. I wasn't there, so I can't say for sure. But if so how she did? Steve was there, can you concur <laughs> or confirm this story? So what did they say about him? Was she funny? I don't know. I, I've never heard anybody say Steve was funny except the other ladies on the show. So I haven't seen, I've never seen her perform. Uh, rumor has it she was not funny. But she was stumbling and smiling and shit. And I, I've seen girls do that. I've seen new comedians do that sort of thing. Because, you know, sometimes they start drinking to relax themselves. And end up drinking too much. Yeah. And I but saw you know this what? Girl in LA uh -huh. doing the Thomas Rock convention. This one chick was so drunk by the time it was her turn, that bitch got up there and she couldn't even hardly say her name. She was Look, so drunk. It was a mess. Let me she tell you about Carmen. What makes you mad? What makes you mad about Carmen? This is the only damn job that everybody think they can do, just walk on stage. And do. I can't go into a hospital and put on some scrubs and be a surgeon. Everybody think they can just walk on stage. You know what I'm saying? But no, it's the only job people think that you don't have to practice and it takes time and learn. Well, oh, I can be a comedian. You know what I'm saying? I can't I can't put I can't go into a hospital and just be a gynecologist and start feeling around. Oh, oh yeah, you got yeast infection, Miss Johnson. Oh yeah, I can I can smell that bread burning. Look at all that bread. Oh my god, girl, you make it what's that Hawaiian bread? I can't do that. <laughs> Listen, but you know, everybody wants to try it. Like comedy is something that when you're good at it, you make it look like anybody can do it. My right. cousin, princess said, what's up, my pride? Welcome to the party. Princess said, Nene is horrible. She was at half no freaking some guy in the corner. She probably was drunk. Yeah. I don't know. And y'all know half no than booey. Anyway, um, Bree, Bree, welcome. I'm glad you made it in. So she said, Nene is no way fun. She sucks. Ooh. Well, let me tell you something, Nikki. This is the truth. Hey, when you're famous, when you're famous, you got 10 minutes that everybody be like, ooh, I can't believe I'm watching this person. After 10 minutes, if your ass ain't funny, they're going to let you know. That's they, you got, say that you got this is 10 good star minutes. Giving, um, uh, uh, careers or whatever imaginable. Right. Because this industry is so short-lived. You know, like fame and all of that, you only as as popular or famous as your last, you know, success. So yeah. If you got to consistently bring it, Dave Chappelle, I mean, not, well, Dave Chappelle showed it when he came back. He got booed at Pittsburgh, remember? He sat mm -hmm. on the stage and smoked cigarettes. What's up, Lamont? Lazy Lamont, y'all. He sat on the stage and smoked cigarettes. Right. Because he said, fuck y'all. They said, I need to be out here. I think it was like oh, 30 minutes to get my check. <laughs> y'all can move. Y'all do the fuck y'all want to do. I'm going to get my check. And, you know, I can take it, man, because sometimes, you know, if, you, if you're if you not prepared, like if you ain't ready, motherfuckers don't give a fuck who you are. They don't uh, care. Jerry Seinfeld in his thing comedian, he said, I'm as big as it gets. I'm as big as it gets. And even I have to consistently bring it. Otherwise, you know, they'll give me the courtesy first five minutes. You know, maybe ten, but after that, if I Man. if I had black people, oh my god! Black Let me tell you something. Here. This the thing: if you're a singer and you sound bad. All you gotta do is sing a gospel song, though nobody go boo gospel. Nobody boo gospel. You can you can be a word. You can be. I'm telling you right now, you can be a, the best singer in the world. And be like, boo! Oh, you start singing gospel, whatever. Oh, uh. <laughs> uh, go ahead, go ahead, bring it, sing it. Take your time, take your time, sure. Yeah, take your time. Hallelujah, holla back. <laughs> you you can you can you can boo gospel, but comedy you ain't comedy you ain't got no. Wins. I don't care what you, you know, say. I'm saying comedy. 
You could be doing comedy and get booed tomorrow. Y'all know I just found out I got cancer. Fuck your cancer, nigga. You ain't funny. <laughs> wow, Christine said she is horrible. Come on, Nene, I guess. She, she is said, terrible. She said her energy is negative and she's miserable. I have heard that. But listen, I heard, like, my friend ran into her at uh, Legal Seafood or somewhere. And, you know, they were excited. Oh, my God, Nene. Yeah. You know what I'm they were sitting in the booth across from her. And, you know, they said she threw so much shade that night. It was her. The Her son is a boxer and he had just won a match. At, mm. uh, I forgot what it was, Anyway, and he just wanted to say hi and meet her. You know, they said she was mean, she was shade. I said, wow. Yeah. I don't like you yeah. that, because the thing is, you get in this industry and you know that that thing is a part of it. I hate, I am always extremely disappointed when I meet people who I'm a fan of and they're not nice. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. But you know what? Like I'm be honest with you. And but also a lot of people, you know, we you know we do a lot of shows with a lot of big people. I, I don't meet them at all on purpose. Because I don't want that I don't want to have that what's the name? I like I like that, that art and craft, but I don't even want to know them personally. And we do a lot of shows with a lot of big names. I just I don't I never meet them. Yeah. I never I never meet them because I don't want that I, I just I like that craft. You know what I'm saying? As soon as I don't like you, I'm done with you. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, DL's one. Like I'm a big DL. I'm one of the biggest DL fans ever. You know, he got me the, the reason I started coming, but DL is a great guy. That's that's yeah, he's, he's a, a excellent he's a he's a great guy, know, nice guy. We talked for a long time. The most charismatic, like personable. Yep. Even if you don't like me, you would never know. You never know. Because he want he treats everybody like they're special. Everybody yeah. makes everybody feel welcome and loved and inviting. He won't let his team be mean to nobody. Yeah. You know, even like when it's time to go, sometimes they get mad. Because he will stay until the last person is is greeted and you know, you know what? I love that dude. He is my because favorite. because he's appreciative. Because he's appreciative. He knows that the crowd is the one that makes him. You know what I'm saying? You got to know that in the industry. You didn't, Nene did not make it. She's not popular because she's just Nene. The crowd makes you popular. So right. you can, and you know. And that's what I said to them. I said, don't talk to her. Go online and bash that bitch if she was mean to you. Put it out there. Fuck her. Because if you're not, if you, you're only popular because your fans support you. When motherfuckers treat you like that, don't fuck with them. Stop supporting nope. them. Don't put no money in their goddamn pocket. Don't nope. goddamn go see their shit and tell people about your experience with them. If it was bad, bitch, go online and apologize. Because if you're having a bad night, don't take it out on the motherfucker that you're going to encounter only once because you do not get a second chance to make a good first impression. So, if you're having a bad time, avoid the public bitch. Let me tell you something. Yo, first of all, that's y'all fault for going to see goddamn Nene. You know what Nene is? Going to see Nene is like seeing a, like, like getting a prostitute with her, with, her, with, her, with her mouth wired. It's stupid. You wouldn't go get a prostitute with her mouth shut. I can't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's what going to see Nene is like a prostitute with her mouth wired. It's stupid. Listen, uh, Christine said she's very shady. <laughs> well, that's y'all fault for dealing with ass. Personalize it to me. Oh, yeah, man. I, I, don't, I don't support people like that. We ain't gonna spend too much more time on no, that. No, I'm done with her ass. I'm done with her ass. So, uh, TJ said, Does DL still have the same manager 20 years ago? You mean uh, Gary? If, if so, yes. Man, DL's team is the same team. You know a person is a good person when they don't have a lot of turnover. So, you know, when you have people that been with you for for a long, long, long time, you already, that's an indication. That's an indication. But also, you know, when people are nasty, their team is nasty. You notice that? The leader sets yeah. the tone. I don't fuck with people like that, because I put a, I, 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 I'm a, I'm a, you know, I, I hustle. I do what I do, and I do it full time, so this is my job, this is how I eat. And I make a lot of money for a lot of people. And I'm telling Except you- Except me, people, except me. That's why I'm at work now. Except me, she do all for everybody else, but I'm on this bitch every day, and I'm still at work. Y'all, so if anybody ain't know any other management companies, four four three six seven seven one. This bitch got me out here. I make a lot of money for a lot of people. Who bitch? Who bitch? Who? I set myself up for that. Ah damn! You skip one. You skip one. That's funny. Now that you're nice to me. 
<laughs> I make a whole bunch of money for a lot of people. I'm on Facebook Live at work. That. I'm at Facebook Live at work. <laughs> when you became one of Donnie's backup singers, nigga, you was out of control. You turned into a diva. I couldn't make you no money because I couldn't get to you. <laughs> I'm the motherfucking manager, and I had to call your people and shit to talk to you. Fuck right, you. Well, well, now, bitch, I got no people. They all got fired. Well, they all left because I couldn't pay them no more because I had no more money. I got you. All right. All right, y'all. We're trying to get out of here. All right, babe. We out. I'm going to talk to you all day, boy, because you're stupid and you make me laugh. Yes, Gary. Uh, yeah, he's a good guy. He's still there. Yep. Yeah. So anyway, hi, right. that's my sister, y'all. Welcome to the party, girl. Like you said, it's me. Next time, I'll come earlier. Yeah, I will be in Philadelphia. Guys. I'll be in Philadelphia Friday and Saturday. Yeah. I'll be at uh, I'll be at Dunbar High School for a big comedy show. So make sure y'all check it out this week, and I will be headlining both shows. So, all right. And bring and your children. And bring it to you. next week. Y'all know anybody in North Carolina? I just got a call. I'll be in Durham, North Carolina, with me and Chris Paul. Yeah. Okay. I'll be in Durham. For two shows, Chris and then Paul, I'll be in New York Sunday. Yeah, Chris Paul. The Morning Minutes, Radio yeah. For a long time too. One, of, one of the funniest comedians on the circuit. Chris is one of the most Excellent clever writer. comedians ever. Excellent, Excellent writer. writer. So, yeah, so I'll be there next week in Durham, North Carolina. Christine. Thank you so much. All right, y'all. Yeah. What's up, Jared? All right. Where them All right. Goals, son? I'm going to go find me. Locker, y'all. Welcome to the party. All right, I'm going to find me a junkie with some rice and some rice. What? Right. I'm gonna find me a junkie with some right foot socks. I got, I got the left ones. I need to find a junkie. All right, y'all. I'm heading to the West Coast, so we're gonna be coming at 11 for the next few days. I said. <laughs> Roshan, look, it's time. Little Timmy ran his his phone. His phone ran out of minutes because he bought all his electronics from junkie. I have some shit that will allow him to stay in the party. This is the way we end this thing every day because little Timmy refuses to spend money on his stuff. So one of these days, either he's going to get arrested, as he rightfully should, or he's going to buy some shit that works from an actual store. Anyway, like and share this feed. Thank you for coming. And uh, shout out to our producer, Big Dale, who is on the road. So he's not able to, to to support us today, but I did have some help. Shout out to Monroe Elise, my amazing assistant, who's getting better every day. Tomorrow we're going to work on colors. <laughs> I just thought the bitch words, okay? Anyway, I love y'all for joining and uh, follow me and Timmy. Like and share this feed and just join us each and every weekday morning. And please, by all means, drop some topics if you got some stuff you want to talk about in the comments. Because as you can see, we're talking about anything and everything and absolutely nothing. We ain't got shit to talk about. We really don't. So we need information. We need things to talk about. We want to know what's important to you. We want to know what's funny to you because ain't none of this shit heavy. We really give zero fucks about most people. So except for those who pay. <laughs> we love you. We love the payers. Or support. We love you. So all that being said, I'm going to get out of here because despite the fact that we're late, it's still too early for this shit. Holla.